Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Bryn and I do Bath and Body Works videos here on YouTube. And today I thought that I would share with you guys my top 10 favorite Bath and Body Works fall candles of this year. And I most of them are brand new, but there are a few in there that aren't. I just feel like this year they didn't really put a lot of new candles out that I really loved. So I, but I'm not complaining because they did bring back a few that we have been asking for for literally years. So I am really excited about that. But yeah, so I'm just going to get into it. So first off, I'm going to do an honorable mention. So I have 10, but this one didn't quite make the cut, <laughs> but I will share it with you guys. So, uh, oh, before I get into that, I just want to mention that I'm pretty sure all of these candles, uh, a couple of them are a special release, but I'm pretty sure most of them are still available because after all it is still fall like technically i think fall just started but you guys know how it works they always release stuff like before the season so technically like it's just beginning to be fall but they're already starting to put out christmas stuff so if you do want any of these candles i would get on it now because pretty soon they will be gone. But let's just start with my honorable mention. So it is Everlasting Magic. Now this candle, I will say definitely not my favorite scent or packaging for that matter, but this lid is absolutely gorgeous. So first of all, this is like a glass and it's got skeletons, but the crown on the outside is absolutely awesome. And what I plan on doing is putting a candle on it and having it be like a holder, like a crown holder. So I thought the lid was super awesome. The scent notes are Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Enchanted Musk. And I just feel like this candle is super, super light. And it's almost like a perfumey berry, but it's super, super light and it's just not my favorite scent. You guys know I'm not really into the perfumey scents, but for the lid, I'm making it an honorable mention. <laughs> um, and then, okay, let's start it off with number 10 and that's gonna be Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. This one, I have to say, I kind of just put it in here because of the packaging. I love the packaging. Um, but this one is warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg sprinkled with sugar. I mean, to me, it just kind of smells like a baked good and it's heavy on that cinnamon note, which I'm not really a fan of like heavy cinnamon candles. But I will say, and it's a little bit light on cold, but I will say I, we have burned this one in the past and it was super strong. So you guys know I love a super strong candle. And um, this packaging is just super cute. So I, number 10 is Pumpkin <laughs> Snickerdoodle. And my husband loves this candle, by the way. So number nine, I have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Again, this one's heavy on that cinnamon. It is warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. But to me, like when I smell this candle, it just totally reminds me of fall. And I love to have a good like strong pumpkin cinnamon candle. And to me, for like the screams fall, and to me, that's this one. So they have other ones that just they don't do it for me, but this one is super strong and it's got that like craft store smell, if you know what I'm talking about. And the packaging is super cute. I love this collection's packaging. So there's that one. And then up at number eight is definitely not a new one either, but it is Fall Farmhouse. And 
I'm not really a fan of this packaging. It's kind of like, uh, like stained glass, I guess, but it's okay. This one is Spiced Pumpkin, Forest Pine Branch, and Fresh Fall Air. And it sounds like my husband's home. Every time I get sit down to film a video, my husband gets home from work. That's just how our schedules are, but. Hi, honey. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, so anyways, um, so Fall Farmhouse, I first noticed this candle a few years ago. I don't know when exactly it first came out, but it was on my radar, radar a few years ago, and at first I really, I think I ordered it online, and I didn't really love it that much, but the more I smell this one, the more it just smells like it's definitely a very dry pine scent mixed with like pumpkin spice. And I really love a good dry pine scent because it really reminds me of the outdoors. This just smells like the outdoors on a fall day. And so I love this candle and I'm really starting to fall in love with it. So, and this one is super strong. So definitely recommend Fall Farmhouse. And what was that? I always lose count. So, okay, I think at number seven, we this is not a new one either, but it's pumpkin carving. And I definitely had to put this in the list for this packaging. This is my all-time favorite candle packaging of this year, especially for Halloween. And it's freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. I do love the scent. If you want more of like a creamy pumpkin with like a hint of uh, cinnamon spice, definitely recommend this one. So sweet cinnamon pumpkin is way heavier on that spice, but this one is more of like the creamy pumpkin scent with like a hint of spice. So I do absolutely love this one and the packaging is so cute and so perfect for Halloween. I absolutely love it. So that is number seven. And then up at number six is finally we have a new one, you guys, and it is Praline Delight. And again, I do love this packaging. And this one is Roasted Pecans Brown Sugar Creamy Caramel. And I still cannot place my finger on where <laughs> that I've smelled this scent before and I cannot figure it out. I don't know if it's a repackage or what, but it is really good. It's there's something so delicious about this candle. I will say this would have been way higher on my list if it smelled stronger on cold. It's just it's super light, so I'm kind of scared to burn this one. I really hope it throws well, but it smells delicious. So number six, was that number six? Yeah, number six. Okay, we're down to the top five. So at number five, I have pumpkin spice latte mixed with twisted peppermint. This is the special drop candle that they did. They have been doing like a drop every season and it's like weekly candles, but for some reason they decided just to do two this time and they came together, but it's fine. Uh, this one is obviously pumpkin spice latte mixed with twisted peppermint. So it's got pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso and cool peppermint. And this one, well, okay, I'm not even going to go over the packaging because you guys know I think it's just not, they missed the mark with this packaging in my opinion. But uh, the scent though is really nice. Like, okay, this really reminds me of the peppermint sugar cookie scent. I would say it's almost exactly like that, but mixed with like a hint of a coffee note. So I actually really like this one. I hope that it throws well because it's got the twisted peppermint in it. So I'm really hoping it's a strong one. But this one, uh, when I first heard them mix pumpkin spice and peppermint, I was like, that cannot be good. But it actually, um, I was actually pleasantly surprised. So 
like this one. I don't know if you can still get this one because it was a limited release, but if you guys want this one, go out, go out and try to get it now. And then the other one in that collection is going to be at number four and it is Radiant Red Maple. Of course, you guys. So I have been asking for them to bring back this candle for so long now. And specifically, I wish they would have brought back the old packaging because it was so freaking beautiful. And I do have one in the old packaging. So obviously, I'm going to keep that one for like ever. But the scent is actually really nice too. I do really like the scent. It is crisp, crisp Macintosh apple, smoky woods, and a hint of toasted marshmallow. This just smells like a s'more mixed with apple and... It's not your Granny Smith apple. It's definitely like more of your like red delicious apple. But I do really like this scent. It's definitely edible and delicious. It doesn't smell like it's going to be super strong, but we'll see when we burn it. So there's that one. And then now at number three, we have freshly brewed coffee. Is it a surprise that this is in my top 10? Absolutely not. This one is, it says, enjoy the room filling aroma of fresh coffee beans as you pour yourself a cup of ambition. And this one, I swear they put this one out before, but it must have been before my time. But to me, you guys, this smells so, so similar to Paris Cafe. And you guys know Paris Cafe is my all time favorite. So I just, it's so similar that I can't even... It might have a little bit less of the croissant note or the pastry note, and it's like kind of straight up coffee, but I love it. I love Paris Cafe, and I love coffee scented candles, so you guys know I had to have this in my top 10 list. Coming in at number two is another one that I have been begging them to release back to us for years now, and it is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. And the packaging is pretty cute. It's not as cute as like this um, collection, but I do like it. It's like the paisley or whatnot. This one is fresh, farm fresh blueberries, ripe pumpkin and autumn spice. This one just smells kind of like a, it smells like berry cereal mixed with like a blueberry muffin. It smells very fruity very blueberry fruity and then it's got like the hint of the spice or like the bakery note and I do really love this one I don't like it as much as blueberry cotton candy or blueberry maple pancakes those are my all-time favorite blueberry scents but this one if this one burns strong I'm gonna love it but it doesn't it to me it smells kind of light on cold so I'm kind of nervous that it's not going to perform that well, but I do love this scent. It's absolutely delicious. So, okay, you guys, now we've come to my favorite candle of this year. And let me know down in the comments if you know what it is. You probably won't be able to guess it, but it is, ready for this, Moonlit Graveyard. I never thought that this would be my favorite candle of any, any season, but here we are. Um, so first of all, the packaging is absolutely phenomenal. It's just a graveyard scene with the little, um, horse buggy or whatever and the skeleton. It's just a graveyard scene, but I absolutely love it. The lid is a little weird um it's got the ghost which is super cute but a lot of people say it looks like an oreo cookie <laughs> um but the scent notes are tombstone moss cold foggy air and eerie incense and to me it definitely is heavy on the patchouli note and then also mixed with like a very soapy cologne it is pretty similar to last i think Two years ago, they released Haunted Nights. So it's very similar to that one. Um, but this one is just really strong with that patchouli note. But I just love the packaging and I love 
the fact that it smells like a graveyard. <laughs> that sounds really weird, but during like Halloween, I want my house to smell like spooky and like mysterious and smoky. And they have captured the entire Halloween vibe in this candle. So I absolutely love it. It's my number one this season for fall 2023. So that was all my favorite candles for fall of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to get some of these, pick some of these up now because pretty soon here it's going to be all about Christmas and I don't want you guys to miss out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Love you guys and don't forget to stay positive and just be happy and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.